Hi, my name is Scooter Braun, and you're watching Virgin Disruptors. I went down to college in Atlanta, Georgia when I was 18 to go to college and actually play basketball. When I got down there, I realized there was no room in the NBA for the uh, five foot 11 white Jewish guy. So um, kind of crossed that dream out as soon as I got there and became a college party promoter to make some extra money. Pretty soon I was a very large college party promoter. Uh, revenue wise, we were number one in the US. And then when I was 20, a guy named Jermaine Dupri approached me and said, you know, I think you can do more than just parties. After a couple years doing that, I had all these ideas about social media. And then I said, I'm gonna start my own record label and management company. And I'm gonna take all these ideas and try and disrupt my industry. And the first act that I signed was a kid out of his dorm room rapping named Asher Roth. I saw a 12 year old singing on YouTube with about four videos up, 60,000 views at the biggest video. And his name was Justin Bieber. Moved him and his mother down to Atlanta, first flight they'd ever been on. We became a little family, me and Asher and his boys and Justin and his mom. And I put everything into those acts and kind of risked everything and had enough money to survive for 13 months at one point. And in month 12, I called my dad and started a conversation, found myself crying hysterically. And I'm a month away from losing everything. And I got a kid around the corner who's a 13 year old living with his mom illegally from Canada in an apartment under my name. Two weeks later, Asher wrote, I love college, saved the business. and double down on Justin and from there we ended up building a, um, a very large company that now has a lot of different acts that have done very well, seven number one albums and over 100 million singles sold and now we've got a TV and, and film and now tech. You can't make someone a superstar. They either have it or they don't. I can remember the first time I got a big you know, record deal. They offered me the standard, you know, sign three to five acts a year is that and the other, and I've, and I've never done that deal. And there were three years there where I did not sign one act, and then the next year I signed four acts, and we had three number one singles and a, and a number one album. And people are like, why did you sign so many this year? Because they presented themselves. I think finding superstars is the equivalent of falling in love. You do not look for it, it finds you. <laughs>